Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic, and our Tauren Warrior playthrough. Today I've decided we're going to go do some troll stuff, so we have three different quests now that are all kind of in the same level range. And it's going to be all basically fighting the trolls across the area. We also have Hostile Takeover over to the east, which we can do. We need to collect uh, tumbled crystals from the goblins over there. Snapdraw Crocolis skins, we need those. We also have a Tablet Shard to swim out to in the Vile Reef. And we need Encrusted Tail Fins, I'm assuming, from Murlocs? So yeah, we have a lot to do in a small area, and I was going to travel over to Hillsbrad today, but I decided we should just knock some of these out. Our quest log is full. So it's either we knock some of these out, or I abandon a bunch of quests, and then we have to worry about finding them and retaking them later. Uh, which I'd rather not do, so yeah, we're going to try to do a bunch of these today and see how that goes. And then next time we can take ourselves over to, back into Hillsbred Foothills, maybe do some stuff in Arathi. Uh, we're also looking for 30 Troll Tusks. We need Troll Tusk for the Whirlwind Axe quest. So I'm kind of hoping we can get those off of the trolls either today or maybe get most of them today. Uh, which will leave less for me to farm later on. But yeah, that's the plan. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you for clicking and for choosing to spend some of your time with me here in Azeroth. Uh, this camp is farmed out. There's nobody here. That's promising. Hmm... Uh, do we want to swim out here and get the tablets? I don't think I've ever found this before because I, when I've had this quest previously, I have not been using Questy. Uh, but yeah, here it is straight out here. The only question is what kind of opposition are we going to come up against? And is it going to be Murlocs? It's probably going to be Murlocs. Encrusted Salt Scale Warrior. Salt Scale Warrior could be Naga. It doesn't have to be Murlocs. It doesn't have to be Murlocs, and yet it's Murlocs. <laughs> okay, and they're really, they're really, really, really deep. Um, yeah, this is going to be tricky. Let's see if we can... They're, they're warriors, so they shouldn't have any ranged attacks. I say as I pull out my own gun and shoot. Let's see if we can just pull them up. We're, we're not going to be able to fight them down here. Uh, I want to go back to Sword and Board, please. Thank you. And we need to get a hamstring up as well. Yeah, for that reason right there. Starting off my morning with an underwater murloc quest. What trouble am I asking for exactly? Hunters are going to throw stuff. Oracles are going to cast stuff. Uh, yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be a pain in the ass. Who the hell are you? Oh, this is not okay. Oh, good. Disconnected. That's just even better. Random disconnects now. Oh yeah, I mean there's no way we're gonna live, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, new plan. Maybe we don't do this right now. Didn't realize there was gonna be a level 40 goblin just kind of hanging out down there for no reason. So that's really cool, really cool. 
Uh, he's also not going to leave us the glone, so... Great, 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 great. Ah, uh, okay. Well then. Maybe we just get the tablet. Maybe we swim down, we grab the tablet, and we don't do the Crusted Fin quest at all. I would be okay with that. If they're going to be guarded by a level 40 goblin that can breathe underwater, uh, then I am all good with that. I didn't even see him until we charged. He, he just blended in with the... with the Merc. Not sure why we were disconnected there. Everything looks good on my end. I didn't drop any packets or anything like that. Um, hmm. I've had a couple of times underwater, twice in like the same spot in Black Fathom Deeps on two different runs. Uh, we were disconnected swimming around underwater. I don't know if it's connected or relevant or anything, but that has been what has happened. There is a chest here. I'm not, I'm not going to go for it. It's probably not going to be worth it. And like the only way I would fight these guys would be if I could fight just the warriors, and I don't see a bunch of warriors, so I'm gonna take the tablet and uh, be happy that we got that done. And we are gonna head back this way, and we are not gonna drown. Yeah. Mm hmm. Let's go fight some trolls. Uh, this is not gonna be how we start our day today by fighting murlocs underwater. That's just not a good idea. Are these guys gonna run? Yeah, maybe. Oh, that guy didn't run. It is a little crazy to me that I'm still using this sword. Um... <laughs> I, I wish we could replace it. I guess what we're going to replace it with is, is going to be the Whirlwind Axe, maybe? We could get a drop from a Scarlet Monastery run. I, I think I'm going to do Armory again once we hit level 36. Would be an okay time for me to do that. Uh, we, we're still holding on to loot from our last Armory run. Um, and that loot is level 37. So, yeah. Now these blood scalp tusks, I have a feeling that these are also what I need for the whirlwind axe quest. Am I going to be able to keep getting them? I'll have to keep an eye on that. I think I need 30. <laughs> Maybe I can buy them on the auction house. I don't know why people would sell them. Unless they specifically know about the requirements for the quest, maybe they would sell them for that reason. Yeah. <laughs> 
Getting some big crits on these guys. Uh, you're an axe thrower. I really need to be able to bust up this little group if I want to farm here, but I don't know that I have a great way to do it. Maybe we can pull you out. Okay, somehow we pulled out two of them. Okay, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Abort. Abort. Does anybody want to stick around? Oh, you do want to stick around. Okay. So the ad, the ad kept following us, and uh, the first guy we tagged did not follow us. Figure that out. All right, that's good. Well, we should be able to do that. Can we now pull this guy without a bunch more ads? I think he's still going to aggro this other axe thrower. Let's just see what happens. No, nobody came with him this time. The disarms are getting really old. Yeah, I, I'm not... <laughs> not digging the disarms. Let me see. Maybe we could do a little bit of what goes around, comes around. Let's try... Oh, this requires defensive stance. That's actually really lame. That I can only disarm people in defensive stance? Okay, fine. Guess we won't be doing any of that. Uh, you're an axe thrower, you're gonna aggro this guy. You're an axe thrower, you're gonna aggro this guy. And these walls are not gonna count for line of sight, so I am not gonna be able to pull that caster out either. Uh, we could try it though, let's... 
Oh, he didn't immediately start casting. Hey, that's awesome. Okay, perfect. The good thing about these guys is that they don't seem to have any initiative to run away. And I appreciate a mob that will just stand and fight till it's death. I really, <laughs> really appreciate that. Very, very kind of them. Oh, we've got respawns popping up all around us. Let's start back at the outskirts. And work our way in. Hey, we got the Blood Scalp Totem. That's good, that's two quests completed. Alright, we fought a bunch with a two-hander. Let's go sword and board for a little bit, and we'll see how that feels. Probably not going to be as fast, but maybe we'll take significantly less damage. Sometimes we get through a combat, we don't take a lot of hits, but other times they pop that Berserker Rage, and they just kind of wail on us for a minute. So let's do this, and just check it out. Ooh, a little too close to that guy. Ugh, that could have been bad. We missed, we missed the shield slam, that's a good sign. Doing good so far. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't markedly slower, I didn't feel. Uh, we didn't take a lot less damage either. Ooh, what's going on over here? Level 36, uh... Hunter just kind of messing things up in here, let's take advantage of it. That is a cool tiger, I like that. And now eventually we're gonna get a quest for like the various tablets, and uh, I'm actually kind of concerned that we don't have it yet. What happens less with a one-hander is that we get we get a lot less procs of deep wounds. Yeah, deep wounds does not does not proc as much, uh, which makes sense. Yeah, I've been really wanting to run some dungeons, but yeah, with this, like, we're in that range, we're, we're kind of in a dungeon drought uh, between library and being able to do armory and cathedral together. And uh, Razorfen Downs, we're not quite there yet to do that either, but we're close. Love to start doing some dungeons. Because, yeah, we are at a point where, like, we just need loot. We need a shield, we need weapons, we need so many things. We're going to get a good one-hander as soon as we can finish all the bosses in Scarlet Monastery. So I'm tempted to do that sooner rather than later. Ideally, we'd wait till level 36 or 37, but... Maybe I'm going to go... Maybe I'm going to do a run of Armory and Cathedral at level 35. 
maybe that is going to happen. Because, yeah, I'd really like to have that one-hander at the very least. Um, even if we have to wait a bit on a two-hander, we could, could get the one-hand upgrade. Uh, which would be... This one right here. Sword of Omen. Nine strength, four, three agility, four stamina. 74 top-end damage, 29.7 DPS. As opposed to 67 top damage and 18.9. Yeah, we, we need this. We need that... We we need a neck piece too. Let, let's let's be clear. I'd love to get an amazing one hander from somewhere else and being able to take the neck piece. That's a lot of stamina, but I think I'm I'm probably gonna be have an easier time buying a neck piece and grabbing the sword from the quest uh, than I'm gonna have finding a sword for sale of that caliber. It's probably not gonna happen. Not for the amount of gold that I'm willing to spend, at least. Uh, we could come back here and fight guys back this way, apparently. Let's go check this out. Yeah, I guess there is a little ruin back here. Are there any trolls occupying it? Maybe a couple. I think we ran through here once. There were a bunch of trolls here. Uh, not any longer. Alright, uh, this is great. Let's blow some retaliation here. Probably would have been better off to pop into defensive and do shield block, but... Or shield wall, but that's fine. Oh, disarmed. Perfect. Okay. Okay, we have all the tusks that we need to satisfy this quest. What I'm going to be curious to see is, are we going to keep collecting tusks? Because like I said, we need these. Um, we need 30 of them for the Whirlwind Axe quest. Seems like a lot, I know. Uh, no, I don't want you. I really, 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 really don't want you, but now you've left me no choice. And in the meanwhile, the hunter is going to kill every single troll here because he's a hunter. Yeah, okay, great. Come on, no, leave him. Oh, you ass. <laughs> Uh, it's okay. You're fine. Wasn't like I was obviously working my way over here. It wasn't like you've, you've seen me fighting these guys. It wasn't like you saw me aggro that tiger and have to fight it even though you avoided it. It's fine. I guess the good thing is the respawn rate seems to have cranked up quite a bit, so well, we should be okay.
I feel like compared to when we did this on the Paladin, our kill rate is uh, pretty good. I think we're doing pretty good. We do need to stop and eat. We're in combat. Why are we in combat with him? Hmm, did he shoot this guy or something to get us into combat? Because we shouldn't be in combat with him. There we go. Yeah, the respawn rate seems to just be going nuts. How did he get this guy tagged? Wait a minute. Was I just not paying attention? He, he got a tag on this guy and he didn't even stay to fight him. <laughs> oh wait, he dropped him. What the hell was that about? He was ours, he was gray, and then he was ours again to loot. Something weird is going on here with this hunter. I don't like it. No reason to run over to the other camp because that's where he just went. And even if they did respawn, they're going to be dead by the time we get there. Uh, because his kill rate is utterly ridiculous. So there's that. I guess we just kind of circle here for a minute. Of course, this will be the time that the uh, respawn rate completely falls on its ass. Their bodies are gone. They should be popping up anytime again soon here. We just ran over the wrong block. Mm -hmm. It's called the dismounting block. <laughs> Even Questy has like stopped marking potential uh, spots. It's like, no, there aren't any. Don't bother. Okay, let's kill a raptor to kill some time.
So we've got everything done except for bloody bone necklaces. Do we want to focus this right now? Or are we going to be fighting, we're probably going to be fighting trolls to do other stuff. Like I swear there's a quest where we have to come and get tablets from he from where we're at and from back here. So, I don't know. We're also not getting any more tusks. What else can we do? Not going to do the tail fins right now. We could try to come over here and get the Snapdraw Crocolis skins. Let's work on that for a little while as a change of pace. I think we'll be fighting trolls again um, because I don't think I have all the troll quests. So we'll hold off a little bit on the necklaces. Uh, we already completed a bunch of other troll related stuff. So let's go check on the Crocolis and see what they're doing. Uh, we could also come a little bit further and do the tumbled crystals from the goblins of the venture company. Lots of different options. Uh, wouldn't it be cool if the guys up here dropped the fins that we needed? Wouldn't that be amazing? Because then we'd have a reason to fight these guys and they wouldn't be underwater. How cool would that be? There's also a quest for gorillas somewhere. I, I don't really know. Maybe it's down in Booty Bay. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Snapdraw Crocolisks. Uh, maybe we can cross over? Doesn't seem like there's really a lot of these guys, but they're, they're all up and down the river, so... Just might have to do a bit of traveling. Ah, uh, that one we don't need.
Alright, time to get our health back. Uh, we'll have to be careful walking through this area. There are a bunch of goblins on this platform. We could kind of cut through here and take on some of them. We need their crystals. And then down here on the other side, we will continue with our crocolisk slaying. Now these guys are hard for me to see because they are green, the grass is green, everything's very green, so we'll have to keep our eyes sharp here. Okay, and they run, so we'll have to be using hamstring. I see two of them up here. If we if we wait, they might separate again. Mm, then again, maybe not. Yeah, see, they like to take these little paths that take them right by each other. So even if you get one and they're isolated, chances are that if you stay there and fight for too long, you're going to get another one. Come on, let's get in there.
Uh, yeah, I have a feeling that if I charge in on this, I'm going to get both of them, and I really don't want to fight two. So let's go over here instead. Uh, are you gonna come along? He didn't, he just stood there. He's like, nah, I'm gonna aggro this other guy. Surprisingly, we didn't pull him, but it was really close. Alright, doing pretty good on this one. We only need one more. This might be the fastest I've ever gotten these. Uh, I don't want to deal with the Shredder. See, this guy I almost didn't see because his name was blocked by one of these roots. And yeah, that's it. That's all we need. Let's make our way a little bit south and head back to the coast, and then we will resume hunting Crocolisk. Oh, our pants are breaking. Or those boots. Uh, either way, we'll have to look into that. Oh, that's it. That's uh, that's all we need. Wow. Uh, yeah, we knocked those out pretty quick. Shadow Maw Panthers, we're not going to do that yet. Yeah, guys, I think that for now, we're going to be done here in Stranglethorn. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> not really what I wanted to do. Probably should have just went around, stayed on our mount, and taken the bridge. That'd have been smart. Yeah, I think that's all we're going to do in Stranglethorn for now. I think we're going to turn these in, and then I'm probably going to be taking us back to the Hillsbred Foothills. We have a few quests to do there, we have a few more that we can pick up, and we can begin the main chain of the Whirlwind quest kind of up in the Altharak Mountains area is where the NPC is that we have to go talk to. So we'll be starting that chain while we're over there as well. And yeah, that's kind of the plan. Uh, other than that, we have a ton of areas we can go into. We could do some stuff in the Arathi Highlands, and we should... We can start putting our toes into Desolus if we want to. I'm not sure, like, how much interest I have in farming the centaurs, unless I can get out and just kind of do that in my spare time. Um, which I don't have a lot of. <laughs> and we can go to, uh, Deathwallow Marsh pretty soon. Uh, which I do want to do. Uh, let's see. Well done. Now this is curious. The inscription on this totem is in a language no troll could ever hope to learn, but one that is known to us. Its name, it names the bearer as an ally of a water elemental named Nias and marks him as one worthy to channel his power. 
This is most unexpected, but not entirely bad. With your help, I'd like to pursue this further. So this Nias is the mastermind behind the Blood Scalp and their exotic magic? I'll admit, this is the last place I expected my inquiry to lead, but no matter, our findings may still prove useful. Off the coast of the northwest is an island inhabited by lesser water elementals. There's a crude stone slab there that might serve as an altar for the likes of the trolls. Take the totem you found to that altar. Let's see if we can draw this Nias out and distill his power into a more agreeable form. Remember the sun well. Oh, that's level 36. Technically, we could do that. You come get the food. Warrior, show me you have made prey of the Bloodscalp tribe. Oh, we did. We must find if Yeniku is dead. We need 20 shrunken heads. Slay the Bloodscalp headhunters and take from them their shrunken heads. You must gather many, many heads and I will inspect them to make sure Yeniku's head is not among them. Spirits. Fair enough. Um, we have a Trollbane quest that's like kind of a breadcrumb into the Arathi Highlands. I wonder if it would be worth abandoning something else and picking that up. Uh, Raptor Mastery we're not going to be doing for a while. Let's do that. Let's grab Trollbane. With Thoris Trollbane dead and Stromgard in ruins, Vol'jin has instructed that we make every effort to spirit the legendary sword Trollkar from the human's hands so that we might use it in our coming battles against the trolls of Zul'Garub. Smart. Zengu, one of the seasoned hunters, was dispatched to Hammerfall in the northeastern Arathi Highlands to oversee its procurement. Okay, yeah, that's cool. We can definitely do that, Chain. Uh, yeah, alright, let's see. We need to go down to Booty Bay. Man, I think we're gonna turn these in. I think we're gonna hit 36. That is actually awesome. Glory to the whore. Because that leaves me Wonder in a good position to do Armory and Cathedral. Yeah, there's definitely a ton of stuff to do in Dustwallow Marsh. I, I think I would rather do Dustwallow, really, than to do Desolus. I don't know. I just really don't want to... I just, I just really don't want to farm the Centaur. Maybe there will be a time when I'm just really bored and have nothing else I want to do. And then I'll do that. Talk to me. Fascinating that the crystals have been tumbled using this process can only indicate that they are planning to use them as some sort of fuel or other catalyst. I don't know much more than that. Samples will have to be dispatched to head chemist Gigglefont. Right back. Okay then. So Elder Crocolis skin is going to be one. next for this chain. Uh, oh, we were so close, but we didn't quite get it. 
we're almost 36 so so very close uh, but yeah, I think this is going to be a good place for us to take a break. I have quite a bit of traveling to do, unfortunately, to get us over to Hillsbrad. We're going to have to fly. We could just get on a Zeppelin. Isn't there a Zeppelin that takes us to Undercity from uh, from Gromgold Base Camp? Pretty sure we might just be able to take a Zeppelin directly there. But yeah, I'm going to get that done. Uh, I may try to do an armory and cathedral run and see how that goes. I don't know if that's going to happen this morning or not. Take a look here. I can't even queue for uh, cathedral yet, actually, so that's going to have to... Uh, it's going to have to wait. We have a single DPS in queue. Yeah, maybe this won't happen today, but it, but it should happen soon. Maybe once we hit level 36, we'll be able to queue up for Cathedral. We'll be a little bit under level. I really, really just want to get the kill quest done. It's probably a little bit greedy of me. Uh, but we need we need an upgraded sword, so... We will see. We'll at least do Armory and uh, see how that goes. Uh, once we hit level 37, we'll actually be able to equip the gear that we got last time. That'll be cool. Should probably be throwing this helmet on when we tank. It's got like less strength, but a ton more stamina. Might be a smart tankish thing to do. Anyway guys, I'm going to take a break. Thank you all so much for being here. A special thank you to those of you who are members on YouTube and with me on Patreon. Thank you so much. It's that kind of direct support that is going to help me keep doing what I'm doing long into the future. Everyone take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other and we will see you back here in Azeroth sometime soon. Bye now.